Ben Ibsen kickoff after the break. Las Vegas, Nevada on this Saturday night, last home game of the 2023 season for Las Vegas Lights FC. And tonight, presented by the Castro Verde Law Group, they host San Diego Loyal SC, the Loyal in the playoffs, and they can finish as high as second in the Western Conference. From Las Vegas Ballpark in Summerlin, Nevada, it's Matt Peterson with the former Houston Dynamo and Eredivisie midfielder Andrew Driver. A lot to play for for San Diego. They have a good traveling for tonight, but for Las Vegas, a chance to play spoiler and end the season with the win. Yeah, the lights, we've seen the team. that the, 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 It's a difficult season, and um, you want to leave the season with a bit of pride. They want to come here against a very good San Diego loyal team and go and show what they can do. They're obviously playing for their careers. They want to, to carry on um, uh, uh, if it's with the lights next year or if it's another club, so they have to leave it on a good note. And the loyal, it's about preparation for the playoffs and coming into this and leaving the, the regular season on a high. For Las Vegas, Luke Stauffer has been electric. He has played every single game this season. Mr. Consistency.
A team leading six assists from the right back position, plus three goals. Oh, he's been outstanding, hasn't he? Yeah, going forward, he's, he's linked up so well with numerous different players for, for the lights, but it just brings so much energy. And, and uh, from the right back, he's been actually one of the lights' best um, attacking threats. And yeah, it's just an outstanding season. He can be proud of his performances. Meanwhile, for San Diego, he arrived on load from Sweden's second division, Ronaldo Damas, well known in the USL Championship. He scored twice last week. He's had a good season on load. The Haitian national team attacker has a dozen this season. Yeah, you can see there playing with a smile on his face and always going to be the case when you're scoring goals. And Damas has come back and he's hit the ground running again, hasn't he? These Both these goals here in around the six yard box, real striker finishes. And yeah, he's a, he's a threat around the area and he, he knows how to finish the ball. A Ronaldo esque celebration as well. He led Orange County to the championship two years ago. He'll try and do the same on loan this year with San Diego. It's Las Vegas and San Diego lineups and kickoff after the break. All right, team. I'm not angry. I want to know who broke this. Uh, I want to make sure this doesn't happen again in the future. We found this tangled up in the transfer rollers. Who did this? AIS is a proud sponsor of the Las Vegas Lights Football Club. As a great clip salon stylist, I love giving customers the look they want. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details, so it's one less thing for you to worry about. And when I see that confidence at the end of the cut, that's everything to me. As a stylist, I know it can be hard to find time for a haircut. With the Great Clips app, you can put your name on the list from anywhere and head to the salon when it's time for your cut. A great haircut plus more time for what you love. That's Great Clips. Friendly Ford says yes to you. Yes! Close by and up the road on North Decatur, just off US 95. Friendly makes it easy with a huge selection of Ford vehicles, including Escape, Explorer, Bronco, F-150, and more. Now with free pickup and delivery for all of your service needs. Friendly Ford, your neighborhood Ford dealership, minutes away from anywhere, delivering you the best in customer satisfaction in sales, service, parts, and body shop. Friendly Ford, you get more. The lineup for Las Vegas Lights. Uh, the first year head coach is Cedro Sanchez. Andre Zuluaja, the 20 year old from Miami, gets the start in goal. And a familiar front three, Azriel Gonzalez, the hometown kid, also starts back. He's been very good up front. Oteng on the left. Yeah, I think Bagley's brought loads of energy. He's the one to lead the forward line and bring the energy to the lights. And for San Diego Loyal under Nate Miller, unbeaten in five, following a 4-2 win last Saturday against Oakland. A good front two, Thomas and Conway. Yeah, we said Thomas. Thomas has scored the 12 goals this season, but Paul Chablan as well on the left-hand side is a, a big threat and has a, a good USL championship career. This is a veteran team that played together for quite a while. They can finish as high as second in the West. They need Orange County to drop points tonight. With the win, they'll finish no worse than third place. So a lot to play for for San Diego. There's Uluaja firing up this crowd in Summerlin. He says the suburbs can't bring the noise. Here we go from Las Vegas ballpark. Second game. In this venue, Las Vegas dropped a 3-2 decision to Colorado Springs here last week. Immediately off the kickoff, it's Mo Shabon running a corner kick. Goal kick there to Las Vegas. 
Yeah, positive start for San Diego Mojibane going over the top, getting into a good area. I think your eyes were deceiving you there when you thought it yeah. was a, a corner kick. It was as, as simple a goal kick as possible. Just reading the body language of Andre Zulawaja, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> Let's focus on more important matters, Andrew. This Western Conference race entering play today. San Antonio, Orange County, and San Diego, both in contention, all three in contention for second place. San Antonio, a 3-3 decision in its game against Indy 11 earlier today. Orange County is playing Monterey tonight and San Diego is at Vegas. So with the win, San Diego could finish second or third depending on Orange County's result. Yeah, I think for San Diego, they just need to, to put it in as a second or third is irrelevant when you go into the playoffs. Um, we can talk about where, you, where you're going to play and all things like that. It's a situation where you have to win every game. It doesn't matter where you play and who you're playing against. So for them, you just want to come into this game and get a good feeling going into playoffs. If you win and finish third, if you win and finish second, it's irrelevant. Just play a good game, get that good feeling and look forward to the playoffs. Well, Bush, you did well there. Play the through ball. It's Bush, you, Andres Jimenez, Aranzazu, and Xander Romero, the midfield three for Isidro Sanchez. San Diego building. Out of the back. Martin. Moshaban. Dispossessed. Azriel Gonzalez from distance. Very audacious hit. It was slicing away from goal when he struck it. Very audacious so far, but I think if he'd lifted his head, Bagley was screaming for the ball. You see that big space between the two central defenders that Bagley's stood in right now. He was in that area when Gonzalez had the ball. If he'd lifted his head, he'd been able to just clip it into that area for Bagley to go on and get an easier opportunity. We start from Coque Vegas, the Spanish goalkeeper. has started every game this season for San Diego. Colin Martin wins it. And we're going to see this all day tonight from Colin Martin. He'll just sit in front of the center backs. He's done a good job in the first few minutes. Yeah, he sits there, defense midfielder. He's very good at passing. He, he's, he's athletic and he, he'll win the ball back. And he is a, he's a player for the, the loyal. He's been there for a few seasons now. He, they, they can lean on him when needed. And he's, he's just a very steady player. He's obviously, I've seen him in the in the past when I was at DC United. I trained him and he, he had a lot of quality. And Andrew's keys to the game presented by Finlay Chevy. Yeah, established momentum for the lights. We've, we've noticed so many times this year they, they have gone behind and then they need to, to move the ball around on this pitch. The pitch looks better. They, they look like they can move it. And the loyal need to play off pet, set, set pieces and play with space. Moshe Bain, we've already seen going over the top. They need to utilize those areas tonight. San Diego in very good form to end the season. Unbeaten in five. Scoring goals as a direct ball over the top. Zulawaja off his line to make the claim on the very edge of the box. Zulawaja spent three seasons with Inter Miami CF's second team. And he's now in his first season. This is his fifth appearance of the season. Back it up, Leo Diaz. 11 goals against and four starts this season for Andre Zulawaja. Shaban in a foot race with Timothy Zali, the lone E from New Mexico United. Andres Jimenez Aranzazu, the Venezuelan midfielder, helps it on to Alejandro Mitrano. Good build up here into the feet of Bagley. Recycled wide, Luke Stoffer, long first touch, let him down. Yeah, it was very much unlike the Luke style we've seen this season, wasn't it? A bad touch, but nice play from the Lights. They went from, they actually started with Stauffer on the right-hand side. They went from right to left a couple of times and opened up space, got the ball into Bagley's feet, and yeah, nice, nice football from the Lights, moving the ball well, and yeah, you want to see them possession. This, this Lights team can play with no pressure. They've got nothing to play for. They can just enjoy themselves and just pass the ball around and try to play some free-flowing football. This is impressive build-up here from Las Vegas. Early this season, remember, very direct. They want to get the ball forward as quickly as possible. It's a new look Las Vegas team here in October. Impressive build out of the back. Great strength. Good forward run. Well-timed ball. Edge of the box. The overlap comes. And a free kick is given. Is 
Zach Carroll commits the foul. Our injury report is presented by Dignity Health Physical Therapy. Issa Rayon, Boteo Faz, Andrew Carlton remain out. A.B. Simba and Collier each out for San Diego. Is this what you'd expect towards the end of the season? Um, it's been a long, a long year with a lot of traveling and those injuries start to pile up. San Diego will be hoping to get those guys back for the, the playoff run. Alejandro Guido standing over at B-side to Moshaban. Guido, the captain, gets first round of refusal and he delivers to the back post. And it's straight in the air by Boshio. That's a good counter attack. Here come Las Vegas, three versus four. Azriel Gonzalez wide to Bagley, who slipped with his delivery, and it's just beyond Eric Otang. Still in play for Las Vegas near the corner. Gonzalez tried to slip it through two. He's earned a corner kick for Las Vegas. Great, great counter attack, wasn't it, from the lights? Good play, Gonzalez this time did find Bagley, played it down the line, Bagley had the composure to take a touch, look for the pass, and almost got it to Oteng, his first touch just wasn't there, but yeah, impressive counter attack, and this place is, the atmosphere is fantastic tonight. Short corner, Bagley for Azriel Gonzalez, well defended by Moshaban. Down a little bit easily, but he gets the decision from the referee, Austin Saini. Definitely, definite free kick. It was Bagley that just came across, put his arm up. Easy decision for the referee. I think he's been having a discussion with Bagley to say no more, else it will be a yellow card. Stoffer into the feet of Bagley. Return ball is a bit rushed. And it'll be kept in play by San Diego Loyal. San Diego entered the weekend fourth place in the West. Up a ninth home win of the season, 4 2 against Oakland last week. Two goals. Ronaldo Damas. Colin Martin in midfield. See here, the loyal, they're, they're spreading the defense wide open. They've got three central defenders and they're, they're very open. They've got to be careful. If they lose the ball in these situations, the lights will have plenty of space to counter attack. The loyal spreading themselves out, trying to make this pitch as big as possible when they have the ball. Now these teams met rather recently in San Diego, a 1-1 draw. September 24th. Patient builds of this left side involving Charlie Guzman. And it's right there in the middle of the field for Tumi Moshaba, but he pulls it wide from about the penalty spot. Good chance for his eighth goal of the season. That's a golden opportunity, not far from on the 18th yard box. And he's, instead of putting the laces through, he's trying to side foot it, and he's ended up pulling it past the post, but what an opportunity for Moshaba. I think he didn't realize how good a chance it was. Let's just restart. Timothy Zali. A nice work up the left side. Guido, Colin Martin. Guzman, it's a nice ball. And the offside flag comes up. Very impressive build, they're very patient. 
Before they go, Mo Chabon in an offside position, seven goals, five assists in his fourth year with San Diego. And most, most importantly for San Diego is the, the guys running behind, Mo Chabon and, and Conway, both making a similar run in behind the lights defense. And eventually you'll find one, one of those where they're onside and a good opportunity, just giving a different look. If you're a bit predictable and don't make those runs, it's easier to defend against. Direct ball headed away by Camden Riley. Last season with RGV. Stauffer couldn't quite settle it. Grant Stoneman. Guido did well. Conway spinning on it. He's earned a free kick. A few themes to the season for Las Vegas. A lack of player availability as we see the foul. Pretty simple decision. Xander Romero committed the foul. But in the attacking players, Kubo Torres left the team early in the season. Pato Faz had a chance to score a lot of goals. Torres Achilles. Manuel Ledesma has been in and out of the team. Uh, Carlton injured at the end of the season, so they've had to have a makeshift attacking threat with Bagley move from an outside back position to a center forward position. Guys like Danny Rios, central midfielder their entire pro career playing forward. That's been one, and then the other one has been early goals conceded at home. They've fallen behind in the first half quite a bit. They've showed a good spirit and fight back, Andrew, like last week but chasing so many games has made for a long season. Yeah, and it's just had that lack of consistency, haven't they? There's so many injuries and obviously um, losing players through the season as well. Just, it's just they've not been able to maintain any kind of form. And we've, we've, we've discussed so many times the character this team has had, and it's just difficult when you're chasing all the time, isn't it? And a bit of naivety at times when you have a young team that hasn't played together much, mistakes tend to happen and I think the lights have been very prone to that this year and in games where they more than matched opposition, a little bit of lapse of concentration has cost them the three points. Guido, Colin Martin. Will be a Vegas thrown on the far side of the field. Azrael Gonzalez kept it in play. Oteng, nice work. He's earned a free kick. A lot of whistles here in the first 15 minutes. Nice feet there from Oteng, wasn't it? His first touch took him in, took him in and just dropped the shoulder and tried to turn the defender, win, won the free kick. When he was under a bit of pressure, he had two defenders on him. Eric Oteng had no rights to keep the ball there. Real good play. And the, the game started well. Both teams trying to play the football the right way, play possession, pass it around, and just not many, well, other than the Moshe Ban chance early on, not many opportunities so far. This is good on this left side from San Diego. Conway slows it down with Guido. Stoneman joins. Moshe Ban, Camden Riley. Moshaban edge of the box. Guido. Intricate passing here from San Diego. Guzman. Over hit. A nice build up from San Diego, wasn't it? Poor cross in the end from Guzman. For me, the Martins just played that three yard pass sideways to, to Guzman. If I'm San Diego, I want Martin to spread the play there. Keep, keep this Las Vegas team moving instead of playing a three yard pass which is easy for D to defend get the whip the ball out to the, the, the wide area and keep the defense moving Martin 
a couple of times already today. Just wants to play those two like short passes, slower passes. It kind of slows down the tempo. Sometimes you need to speed that tempo up as that defensive midfield player. Thomas, he's had a quiet first 15 minutes. Now he's on the ball. And good work tracking back there from Bushio, dispossessing the Haitian. Shaky back pass. Really put Zuluaja in a tough position before he cleared. Yeah, not ideal. It was onto his left left side, which is what Zuluaga wants to kick with, but it's a little bit of an erratic kick, wasn't it? And luckily just gone out for a throw in on this far side. Perez with the throw and now it's Perez. Crossing to the back post. Zali heads away. Martin watches it out. Quick throw in. Guido. A lot of possession in the early stages for San Diego Loyal. Unbeaten in five, trying to enter the postseason with momentum and a potential second place finish with the win. And a non-win from Orange County at Monterey tonight. Orange County has a lead. First half stoppage time at Cardinale Stadium. And I think the teams we have seen on broadcast, that's the best performance we've seen in the second half of this season. Orange County at Las Vegas, just a dominant showing. They were outstanding, weren't they? The, the, the passing, the movement, the phases of play, I think they, they really did give the lights a bit of a hide in that day. Riley off to the right, deflected cross. Oh, that was good for Mo Shibane. Good defending inside his box from Alejandro Mitrano. I've been impressed early with uh, number 13, Riley, for San Diego. He's breaking forward from, um, from defense, but he's slipping nice passes in, and he looks very athletic, but finds the pass as well. And, his, his break again for defense there out to Moshiban. Great an opportunity for the, for the Loyal. Moshiban to deliver the South African. Into the box, it's flicked on. A good look there for San Diego. Conway was arriving. He was closest to the back post. A flicked header. Delivering San Diego a good chance. That's a great, great ball in for Moshe Van Pace. It was a flat with curl. It's just begging for an attacker to get on the end of it. And there was a deflection and almost went to Conway. But yeah, really good ball in for Moshe Van. Good help. Menez Aranzazu. Xander Romero escapes pressure quite well. Free kick one. Carroll earns the free kick for Las Vegas. It's actually a, a good angle there. We saw of the ball into Damas's feet, and he just used his body. And his first touch was exceptional. That's what you want to see from your big defender, Del Carroll, putting the strike under pressure. Even if you give one free kick away, you just got to let the attacker know that you're there, and you're not going to give him an easy night. Restart Colin Martin, too long for Thomas. Thomas able to get there and keep it in play. Zali out towards midfield. Nice work, Guido spinning out of trouble. One back by Carroll. Poor giveaway. Lofted in the middle of the park. 
I think the, the idea was that usually that as a fullback that big switch to your opposite side is on but I think there Stalford maybe did that off instincts without looking up it wasn't the greatest pass he'll ever do I think, I think for both teams here when they win the ball in transition they've got more of an opportunity we've seen a lot of this nice passing but because teams have been comfortable in possession they can open themselves up if, if the team that's defending chasing the ball wins it they could be a little bit more positive the first initial pass there may be space open there's Martin cleaning up the mess once again a lot of recoveries from a little back heel there cheeky in midfield You ever try something like that? Back heel, middle of the park in a crowd? Yeah, you'll pull your hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> or fall flat on your face, one of the two. Nice first touch, Thomas, but he's sealed off well there by Mitrano. That's the left back sliding in to help the center back with cover. Yeah, good defending on that occasion. It was Carroll, I think, went for the header and completely misread it. And luckily, Mitrano read the, read the danger and swept up the, the opportunity. Good traveling support for San Diego last regular season game before the postseason. They wanted to see Vegas in Vegas. That's their starting goalkeeper. That's a good strike. Well, save, rebound, second save. Zulawaja passes the test. It was Ronaldo Damas lurking just outside the goal. The two very good saves from the 20-year-old native of Miami. Well, I mentioned Riley a, a minute ago, breaking from defense again this time. He's, he's come forward. He's had a strike this time. Not the greatest first save from Zulawag. We put it back into the danger area with the parry, but the second one's exceptional. He's got up and he's read the, the second opportunity. And Conway, not the greatest finish, but full credit to Zulawag of being aware and making a great save. Yeah, that was Camden Riley pushing forward. No goals to his name on the season. That looked like a well-taken strike from him looking for his first. And then it was Conway with the rebound. As Stoffer waits for the ball, you see good instruction here from Nate Miller, his team unbeaten in five. San Diego head coach. After three years as the assistant coach to Landon Donovan. So much consistency, hasn't there been a, the Loyals? The players, you see the likes of Martin, been here for a few years. Flag is down for now. Damas nodded it forward, well read by Zulu Waja. Vegas thought it was a clear offside. Damas played on. And to go back to the point, you had Landon Donovan for a couple of years and then his assistant taking over. I'd, I'd love to see that in the USL Championship because for many a year, you saw these teams reset every year. And you see the success this San Diego team has had. They've been at the playoff bound every, every year of the, of the round. Yes. And trying to go deep and win the title in their last season in the championship. And great to see their traveling support. Not too far from San Diego to Vegas. And these San Diego supporters are in full voice. Are Vegas being too tiki-taka with this build out of the back? They're kind of forcing it in the central areas, it seems like. They're not finding it to the forwards as well as San Diego are. The, the, both teams are playing similar, wanting to pass out from the back, but it, the lights don't seem to have that progression in their passing. The San Diego, when they have it, they, they, they're breaking with the likes of Riley are breaking through the lines, whereas the lights are sometimes... There's Stoffer pinching in. Acting as a central midfielder. Out for a throw in at midfield. Stoffer will throw it in. We highlighted him in our pregame open. He's played every game this year. Three goals and a team leading six assists. A bumble in the corner. And throw in is conceded. He was going down. Stoneman, I think, needs treatment as he conceded the throw and immediately went down. I think he just clashed with Bagley. Yeah, when you see someone go down like that, it's, it's usually a, a muscle injury, isn't it? When you go down slowly, when you no one around you. 
this. Stoneman receiving treatment. Start of the inaugural match for San Diego, March 2020 against Las Vegas Lights. That was a memorable draw, Junior Burgos. Goal about 40 yards away, right before the pandemic. Put a long stop to the season before it resumed. Feels like an age ago, doesn't it? Just three years. A lot of turnover for Las Vegas Lights from that team. A few different coaches. An affiliation with LAFC and now an independent club. San Diego has enjoyed a lot of continuity from that inaugural team and Stoneman walking off with frustration. It does not seem like he'll be able to continue based off of his body language. No, and you wouldn't expect it. He's got a sore hamstring. You're going into the playoffs. This game doesn't have consequences of win or go home. So for San Diego, you take, you take it cautious. I'd take him off straight away and have him live, hopefully live to fight another day. Zuluaja resumes play. Oteng battling in the corner. He's earned a throw in. Adrian Perez. And there is the substitute in for Stoneman. Michael Chalaka. Michael Chilaka is 23 from Israel. Back to Bagley. Jimenez on and Zazu clips it to the back post. Gilaka first season with San Diego. Join just past the midway point. Play for Maccabi Tel Aviv in the Israeli Premier League before San Diego. turn from Guido. He's been excellent in this first half. A slip by two and then earns the free kick. Desert Radiology's mission is to transform radiology through medical imaging excellence. Schedule an appointment today at desertrad.com or by calling 702-759-8600. Fun to watch Guido on the ball. Yeah, he's been really tidy so far, hasn't he? Nice little turns. We saw the back back heel he did earlier. Um, but and that that possession, he just won the free kick. He, he took it in a, an area where he was surrounded by lights players and good footwork got him out of danger and won a foul. But yeah, he's been he's been good on the ball. He's been nice on the eye so far. Zali did well there, sealing off his man for a Las Vegas Lights goal kick. San Diego have largely controlled this match, 30 minutes in. Five shots for San Diego, zero for Las Vegas. Yeah, I think it's, it's what we discussed a minute ago. Both teams playing similar, but the, 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 the San Diego look more likely to, to create opportunities. They look more decisive in their possession. The light's good in possession without ideas when they get further forward. Otain, good balance, his cross is at the near post. And handled there by Coque Vegas, the 28-year-old, and Tequera, Spain. Second year as the starting goalkeeper. No 
known for his distribution. Avante in La Liga's last stop before San Diego. Damas dropping into midfield. So Luaja off his line, he watches it out for a goal kick. You surprised he let that roll out for a goal kick there? Oh, I think um, you reset. If you, kick, if you keep possession there, the team's got to get back together. I think if you reset, you get to um, pass out like this where you're a little bit more organized. If I'm the lights, I, I would take my time a lot of the time in these situations. You've seen the lights try and rush things at times and give away silly goals. I think sometimes slowing the play down and getting the shape back is a good way of protect, pre preventing un unforeseen, unforeseen errors. Zali heads it over midfield, just back and forth between the teams. Last touch by Guido, throw in Las Vegas. So this San Diego loyal team is playing this 5-3-2 uh, formation, and I think the benefit when you play like that is you win the midfield, and I think that's where they have dominated this game so far. Um, I think Guido and, and Martin in the middle are just they're winning everything. The lights are struggling to, to get hold of that midfield part, the, the middle of the pitch. And that's where the loyal is, is winning the possession and they're, they're managing to, to build out through that midfield. Camden Riley all the way back to Coque Vegas. Riley had a good chance, forcing a strong save from Andre Zuluaja. Turned into a double save. And a rebound fell nicely to Evan Conway. Just a turnover there from Menazan and Zazu. And now Vegas are missing their defensive midfielder as San Diego try and break the other way. Thomas trying to stay on side. Nice tidy tackle there from Bushu. And it's Eric Otang out the other way. Slightly behind Azriel Gonzalez. I think you can see on that camera angle behind Otang there. You can see Gonzalez made the, the move much earlier. I think Otang keeping hold of the ball for too long. Sometimes as a player, you've got to read you, your teammates' body language, and the good players are the ones that can lift their head. They can. A lot of the time, the pass is made for you by your, your teammates' body movement. That's a well-weighted ball. Here is Damas. First time is wide. Beautiful ball, bending in the center backs. Damas had a good chance there for his 13th on the campaign. Oh, the, the pace got him in there. It was a fantastic little curl ball in, into the area for him. And, Surprised he's taken that so early. He's tried to open up the left foot, and he's not he's not got any purchase on it, and he's completely missed it, it wide of the goal. But for me, there, when it's dropping onto that left foot, you're putting the laces through it and smashing it at the goalkeeper. The majority of the time, it's going to be too hard for the goalie to save. Poor finish for a goal, a, a goal scorer of his abilities. Yeah, 12 on the season, twice. Found the net last week against Oakland. There's a good strike, well saved by Vegas. That was Bagley with a smashing effort, 15 yards from goal. Say if that goes in, <laughs> that, that missed opportunity from the Loyal has massive implications. And Bagley has done what we asked we asked the <laughs> Damas to do: just get the ball, and put the laces through it, hit it on target, and not a bad strike. Good save from Vega. Throwing here for Luke Stoffer. It's a long one, and it's headed away. And Stoffer from Kentucky. Three goals, six assists. Credit to him. 34 games, you're an ex player, playing every game of the season. It's by no accident. Oh, 100%. I, 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 never did that. I never achieved it in my entire career. And I know how much effort I put into staying healthy. And, but it, it's, not, it's not even as if he's a player that doesn't do much running. He puts 100% energy into every game. There's his cross from the right. It's a good one. It falls. Zali's right there. And it's cleared. They have been a whistle against Las Vegas, but that's a menacing delivery from Luke Stauffer. Yeah, and the, the big man, Zali, he's, he's a danger from those areas, isn't it? This one, he's gone up to the header. I think the referee's probably given a foul uh, before the play continued. It almost fell to him on that right foot to get a volume. Vegas growing in the game. 
possession, it's 50-50 between these two teams. I would say San Diego's controlled the tempo. Yeah, they've definitely been more efficient on the ball. And it's these balls over the top that is that are causing the problems. Mo Shaban and R Ronaldo Damas are, are dangerous going forward. A good vision there. Mo Shaban tried to slip that through. But it was well defended by Las Vegas. And now it's inside the six. It's spilled. Second effort is just pushed wide. And save there, Adrian Perez had a good look. It's brilliant for Perez, he's put up against Ortengu, isn't the defender? Perez recognizes that, runs it, and this little bit of a chop here, this one is the one that is incredible. And do you know what, really clever for Moshe Bain, he, he knew that he wasn't gonna be able to get the strike, and he just used his body to lay it back to Perez, and unfortunate for San Diego, they could have gone ahead in that situation. Jumi Moshaban from the corner. Zali heads clear. Rishu peeking over his shoulder. What's behind him? And it's nodded away. Good work. Inside the box from Las Vegas. That was Stoffer with the headed clearance. Another delivery to the back post. Moshaban heads central. So the Raja came out. It's cleared off the line by Carroll. Could have gone anywhere, couldn't it? <laughs> it could have gone anywhere. Zulu Aja, thankful to, to fall onto the ball. But the, it wasn't the, the, the best header across, but it's that run from Conway that puts the doubt in the goalkeeper. For me there, though, Zulu Aja's just got to, he's got to be screaming for that ball to make it known that even if Conway goes there, he's going to get hurt. And the goalkeeper's got to, you've got to, you've got to be clearing that danger. A clear push in the back. A free kick given to Las Vegas. Limited playing time since joining in the second half of the season. Just over 240 minutes for Michael Shilaka. The Israeli-American, 823. Here comes the restart to a good spot, and it's cleared. That's good defending, really diligent there from Conway, who rode inside his own six-yard box to clear it. Yeah, what a ball that was into the box, and Matrano's in the vicinity, just couldn't get. That might have hit the goal frame from Bushu from a very tough angle. It was it was Matrano that got in on the end of the, the cross, and just a little bit more aggression. He could have had himself a goal. Nice work from Azriel Gonzalez, Xander Romero. Wide right here comes Stoffer bombing forward. It's Luke Stoffer. His shot is blocked. And Stoffer continues to buzz around. Central for Bushu. Thomas helps out defensively. Now the break is on for San Diego. Colin Martin picks the right pass. Good work. That's Oting. He's a winger, but he wins it back from Adrian Perez. Mitrano, no pressure. Picks out Oteng. Suluanja. Escape for the lights out. Really poor clearance from Zulu Aja and poor touch from Colin Martin. Took away the opportunity. Azriel Gonzalez just took too long on the ball. Adrian Gonzalez wins it back after the dithering. Whistle blown, free kick to San Diego.
Five minutes to halftime. Your thoughts so far, Andrew? Well, it's been, it's been fairly even, hasn't it? I think San Diego, the better team for the majority of the first half, but with a couple of gaping opportunities missed, and the lights have slowly started to come into it. Tyler Bagley having a decent effort at, at, towards the end of the half, and I think the longer this game goes without and the, the San Diego Loyal don't score, the more the lights will fancy their opportunity of winning the game. Yeah, it sounds crazy, the home team wanting to get to halftime 0-0, but I think that would be a victory for Las Vegas. They've conceded for so many times this season, very often in the first 15 minutes. To get to halftime 0-0 gives them a chance for a win come the second half. And they're definitely a team that improves as the game goes on. We've seen that numerous times, and in the games that they have gone the first half without conceding a goal, the lights are in it for the majority of the game, and you can see today, as the game's going on, the lights of Bagley are starting to get more of the ball, and San Diego, they're going to be looking back on the opportunities to miss, wondering why they aren't ahead, and that's when you start worrying about the second half. Here comes Martin over midfield. Sliding challenge. Rondas Jimenez. Aaron Zazu. A mouthful from Isidro Sanchez. Seemed to be good effort from Andres Jimenez Aaron Zazu. I'm not, I'm not sure where the shout is from. He's won the ball. It's a good sliding tackle. Oh, I think I'm, gu I'm guessing the coach is, is screaming at something that has happened before that play because everything there seemed to, to look on point. It's not the kind of tackle as a manager you want to see, your team going in hard but fair. Riley over the top. Carroll heads away. Adrian Perez so shifty, he delivers from the left. It's a good ball. And Zali heads away with Ronaldo Damas lurking. Guido keeps it in play. For Shilaka. Usman, no pressure at the center circle. San Diego, pretty good in the building phase. It feels like all of the back four each comfortable with the ball in the build-up. Yeah, they have, and they're, they're finding nice passes into the middle. They've been they've been very good in in possession today. Just and then they, they, and they broke forward when they needed to as well. They've got the lights of Moshe Bain and Damas who who have the pace in behind. So they they pick their time to to play out and to go long at the right times too. So yeah, it's, it's been a fairly good performance. They just haven't capitalized on those opportunities. Desert Radiology is the premier diagnostic imaging center in Southern Nevada. Today, the practice comprises more than 80 radiologists. Here's a chance for San Diego. Hold back, deflected in the air by Zali. Carroll heads away. Settled by Conway. Good challenge from Clarell, and it's out to midfield. Desert Radiology has more than 80 radiologists and 500 clinical and support teammates. It operates 10 diagnostic imaging facilities throughout Las Vegas, Henderson, and Pahrump. Visit DesertRAD.com to learn more. Well, Siobhan couldn't quite settle it. Oh, nice back heel, Azriel Gonzalez, it's Otang. Drag down, easy decision there. Yellow card coming to Camden Riley. Yeah, and deserved the sober. Good play from the lights. It was a touch from Azrael Gonzalez. Put it into the path of Oteng, who was direct, he was positive. And if he, he beat Riley, he was on to, to, to the, 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 the last gas defenders. And that's why he had to give away that foul. And that's why it's a yellow card for San Diego. Restart coming for Andres Jimenez on Zazu. A minimum of two minutes of stoppage time will be added at the end of this first half. Mitrano. Good first touch from Ote. There he is again, Colin Martin. Anytime Vegas trying to get to that pocket, he is there. Space here for Shilaka. Oh, no, 
Nice work on Tedeschi Benetar and Tazu reprising that Colin Martin role, winning it in a good spot from Blake Bodily. Have not mentioned his name yet, 25 year old from Eagle, Idaho. His first year with San Diego after three years with Portland. Yeah, he's not managed to get in the, the game too much. He did have a nice touchdown on the left-hand side a few minutes ago where it was a long ball. His first touch was fantastic. <laughs> not sure where the goalkeeper was going there. No man's land comes to mind for yeah, Koke yeah, yeah. Vegas. Turning his back and crashing into a teammate. Yeah, I think he's probably thought this he, the ball was going to travel into his, his area. And then once he's got out there, he's totally misread the situation. Shaban lets it run. He picks up his head. Again, Damas in an offside position. They've done well against him. That foul was standing. They continue to put Damas in an offside position as they step high against the Haitian. Yeah, he's always on, on the shoulder, isn't he? Looking in behind. Um, he's found that a couple of times, though. It only takes that one, the one to, to, to beat the offside trap, and it can be costly, though. So Damas is going to continue to play on the shoulder, and then. Shabin has also been making those runs from a little bit deeper. And does Jimenez are in Zazu. Yellow card worthy challenge. Yeah, I think that was a bit silly actually. Uh, Moshe Bain wasn't really going anywhere. The fact that and Andres Jimenez Aranzazu didn't need to go to ground there. He could have, been, could have made the same foul standing up and it would not be a yellow card. The fact that he's gone to ground is it's a bit silly actually. Moshe Bain leaves it. That's a good spot. The header is wide. Riley rose for it, and that brings us to halftime. 45 minutes gone from Summerlin, from Las Vegas ballpark. Andrew Driver, your thoughts? Oh, I think fairly even first half. The uh, San Diego Loyal maybe making the the best chances, and um, one for Ronaldo Damas was a poor finish in the end. But I think both teams will be happy. The lights will be happy. They're coming in at halftime, drawing, but really much created from the lights team. I think it, this game is well in the balance and could go either way. Scoreless first 45 minutes from Las Vegas ballpark. Last game of the regular season. Right, Cash the soccer rocker and company coming in full throttle. Scoreless after 45 from Summerlin. This is the 2023 Nissan Road. With a surprisingly fuel efficient VC turbo engine. Switch to dry cooling and earn up to 50% in cash and taxes for the project to build up the system. 
This is not the future. This is our reality. Lake Mead is at historic lows. It's time to get real. Change your watering clock now. Water only three days a week in fall. It's the law. For over 60 years, AARP has empowered people to choose how they live as they age. As a wise friend and fierce defender, we advocate for better health, financial security, and stronger communities. We are AARP. Las Vegas Light Soccer is presented by the Castro Verde Law Group, where they treat you like family. By Estrella Jalisco, enjoy responsibly. And by Nevada State University, be bold, be great, be state. Time from Las Vegas, scoreless between Las Vegas Light and San Diego Loyal SC. San Diego with the chance to finish as high as second with the win tonight. They would need a little help from Monterey Bay, currently trailing against Orange County, one nothing just past the half hour mark. The old dizzy bat race, hard to beat that. Baseball tradition here at halftime, which is presented by AIS. <laughs> and you're quite enjoying this one, Andrew. <laughs> That's good to say we've not seen a goal yet. If we see one here, I'll eat my heart. Uh, oh! No, yeah. <laughs> a dizzying finish from the man in the black cap. <laughs> With that, let's hear more from one of our presenting sponsors tonight, Comprehensive Cancer Centers. Cancer has changed over the last 20 years. It's really become a chronic disease uh, and research plays into it. Our new treatments play into it. We rarely talk about, oh, the end of life anymore. We, we certainly don't want to mislead any patients, but at the same time, there's so much hope out there, so many developments, so many new drugs out there. Comprehensive has 170 different trials open for our patients um, to continue their fight in, in their you know, battle against cancer. For Comprehensive to partner with any sports team like the Lights is important because we want to show the community that uh, we're out there trying to make patients aware, trying to make everyone aware that the importance of cancer screening, prevention, and the multiple treatment options that we have available, including research. Uh, and it's an easy way to get the message out. So I think kid cancer and, and promotions like that are so critically important for patients as well as their families. It allows them to normalize their lives, especially going through chemo and immunotherapy. It gives them a way to essentially come out of their bubble. And it's a safe way to do it. It's outside, it's safe, uh, especially during the pandemic. And, and I think it's so critically important for patients uh, and their families to try and have some normalcy during this battle and to know that they have the support of not just comprehensive, but the community as well. I think it's also equally as important for cash and any mass doc to come visit our patients just because they're like amazing people and they provide such boost and morale to the patients. Right? Oh, hey bud, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? It makes people smile. I think that's the most important thing. And I think that's the, that's the message we want to relate to our patients that, hey, they're not alone in this fight. We're gonna do everything to try and normalize things for you and, and to make things better. And mass dots are just another way of cheering people up, making people feel good.
We all have goals. But let's be honest. Most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. News and notes from around the USL Championship presented by Security National Mortgage. What a rally. New Mexico United was in 11th place not too long ago. Now in the playoffs after they beat Memphis 4-1. And it wouldn't be the first time we've seen a late surge to the playoffs for a team to go far. So New Mexico a team in, in form and you wouldn't want to face them at this point. Home sweep Orange County. Great news for Orange County Soccer Club. A new 10-year agreement with the city of Irvine. Yeah, obviously great to, to keep keep developing and um, a home is very important as we know with San Diego. All these teams eyeing November 12th. That is the date for the USL Championship Final ESPN. November 12th. As we see scores from across the championship, Colorado Springs beats Phoenix 2-0. RGV over Loudoun United. El Paso trying to take down Oakland on the hour mark. And this is the biggest one for San Diego supporters. Orange County leading 1-0. If that score holds, Orange County will finish second. And no matter what happens here tonight, San Diego can finish no higher than third place in the West. Yeah, and I think San Diego won't, won't be paying attention to that. They'll just have this the, the game tonight in mind as a win is more important and you want to finish up as high as possible anyway. Sacramento already first in the West. They'll host throughout the Western Conference playoffs there, hosting Miami FC. Miami FC entered right on the edge of the playoff line. That's a critical game. Miami FC in Detroit battling for the last playoff spot in the east so many eyes from detroit to miami on that game here are the standings entering play tonight we've talked about it quite a bit uh, san antonio got a point so their season is done in the regular season they're on 56 points orange county and san diego now fighting anywhere from second third to fourth depending on this result here in summerland and the result of the game between Orange County and Monterey Bay from Cardinale Stadium on the central coast of California. Plenty more coming up at halftime. A scoreless first half from Las Vegas ballpark and a good old fashioned dizzy bat race to the delight of one Andrew Driver. <laughs> and it makes people smile. I think that's the most important thing. And I think that's the that's the message we want to relate to our patients that hey, they're not alone in this fight. We're gonna do everything to try and normalize things for you. This is the 2023 Nissan Rogue. With a surprisingly fuel efficient VC turbo engine. You can go from zero to fun in no time and leave basic far behind. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Now get the 2023 Nissan Rogue with best in class fuel economy among gas engines. This is not the future. This is our reality.
Lake Mead is at historic lows. It's time to get real. Change your watering clock now. Water only three days a week in fall. It's the law. Nevada donor organ, eye, and tissue donors give hope to the more than 650 Nevadans waiting for their second chance at life. You have the power to bring them hope. Register as a hero today at registerme.org. Together, we are Nevada Strong. Las Vegas Light Soccer has been presented by Terribles. By Hot 97.5 FM, today's hottest music. And by Cox Your View. Catch replays of the lights every Saturday at 10 a.m. And now the highlights. Las Vegas and San Diego, second meet in the season, a 1-1 draw in San Diego a few weeks ago. Good early chance for Ronaldo Damas for his 13th of the season. For all the possession that's been played, it's been the, when the teams have gone a little bit more direct that we've seen the opportunities. We saw the San Diego one there, it was a long ball over the top. And then this one here, another long ball into the box which created an opportunity. But both teams not creating massive amounts of opportunities, but when they have, they've, they've been good ones and not been taken. Zuluaga fired up after that save. This was Mo Shabani heading central. And Carroll there to save the day. What do you make of these stats? San Diego outshot Las Vegas 8-3 in that first half. I think that they, they, those stats do actually do a good reflection of the game. Pretty even in possession. Um, the best opportunities coming to San Diego, but they get towards the end of the first half, the Lights had a couple of opportunities and they're, they're starting to, to play them way, themselves into it. And it, it could, it's well in the balance, it could go either way. A good crowd in Summerlin, Las Vegas ballpark. Last two games of the regular season for Las Vegas in the suburbs of Las Vegas. Azrael Gonzalez, a Las Vegas native, talking there with Tyler Bagley about the second half. And good for Las Vegas to be on even terms going into a second half. Yeah, I think they, they, they played pretty well, but this, this team is is plucky, isn't it? They'll be in the, even when they're behind, they'll, they'll continue to play. The lights of Bagley will put in a, a shift throughout the 90 minutes. And I think level at the half will play into the lights' favor because this team won't stop. Danny Rios has entered for Las Vegas, a halftime substitute for Isidro Sanchez. And he will replace Sander Romero, who goes 45 minutes in a starting role. That'd be a sign. I think Sander Romero played well. Not sure if it was an injury, but Rios, Danny Rios has come into the team in recent weeks, scored a few goals. Maybe the Lights looking for more of an attacking threat. Timothy Zali. A good pressure there from Bagley. He wins it in a good spot. Picking to his left. He has support from Rios. Bagley went for the far upper corner off the mark. Yeah, that's a lesson from Michael that who came off the bench. He, he's got to be careful on possession because when this man's on the pitch, he isn't going to give you a moment's rest. Bagley just closing the defender down, winning the ball back. He went inside and actually, unfortunately for him, I think he, um, the ball just before he hits it with his left foot, it just bobbled up a little bit and it took it away from the goal. But really good energy from Bagley, which we're, we're so used to seeing at this point. High line from Las Vegas. Out comes Zuluaja to clear it ahead of Evan Conway. Shabani earns a free kick. There is the change presented by Dignity Health Physical Therapy at halftime. Danny Rios, the Houston Dynamo Loney, replacing Xander Romero. We'll 
see where Rios plays as a center forward or as a midfielder. Cross is blocked out for a corner kick. Rios started the season as a midfielder, but forced to play forward and he's been a good goal scorer in that new position. Well, he's been outstanding when he's been given the time, hasn't he? I think early in the season, it was just little bits of minutes. As the season's gone on, they've relied on him more. And once he started playing more time, he, they've got the rewards. There's the corner and it sneaks through to Zuluaja who covers up. I think Zuluaja will be quietly pleased that that just landed right at him because it was a, another good ball in the box from Moshibani and it could have gone anywhere that. I think it was Rolando Damas who just a bit of a weak effort, but he just reacted to the ball into the box. Danny Rios, five goals, four assists on loan from Houston Dynamo. Azrael Gonzalez, nifty first touch. We're seeing Rios drop into midfield here. And still has Bagley in front of him, still has Oteng set to throw this in. Certainly seems like a midfield role here tonight for Rios. Yeah, he, he, even when he does play further forward, though, he, he, he does find himself coming a little bit deeper. That You see him now in the, the, the far right of your screen making that run from deep forward. That's where he, he, he is dangerous. Sometimes if you're running for midfield, it, it's a lot more difficult to pick up. The defenders have to, they have to chase back the runner. And if a defender falls asleep, that's where Danny Rios will make hay. Carroll across the back with Mitrano. Ote. Timothy Zali runs it down. He'll join the attack. Rios for Bushu. Space on the left for Mitrano. Driven effort for Mitrano. You'd rather he just keep possession there? I think he kind of ran out of ideas, didn't he? And just in the end, just thought, I'm gonna... which isn't a bad idea. Sometimes put the ball into the box, makes the defender defend it. I think he maybe ran out of ideas. A, a, a more distinguished player may have just turned back and kept possession. Possession pretty even in that first half. I guess rolling into the game with the ball at their feet. A final third entry is about even. 33 for Las Vegas, 29 for San Diego. But the clear cut chance is definitely in favor of San Diego, who've outshot Las Vegas 10 to 4, including a 5 1 edge in shots on target. Thomas does stay on side. Good link up play. Wide here on the left, deflected delivery, and it's out for a throw in. A nice little break for San Diego, but I think Conway will be screaming for it because he has peeled away on the right-hand side, and he, he would have been in if they, they'd have found the ball earlier. It came out onto the left-hand side to Badili, and he, he then tried to force the ball across to Conway, but if the, the Loyal had saw that earlier, they would have been in. Guido from the corner. That's headed away. Colin Martin from distance, and that is deflected by Zali out for a corner kick. Don't expect Colin Martin to go for goal too often, but he had the space and tried his luck. Well, I thought his opportunity to hit it had gone. It, it fell to him nicely on his right-hand side. He cut back in, and not a bad effort. And you see a deflection could cause all sorts of issues because almost deflected into the net. Guido's corner to the back post. Vegas have defended their box well. It's back to Martin in a similar spot as a moment ago. Don't join the attack. A needless foul there. He's going away from goals. All he knows it. Free kick to San Diego. And a good couple of minutes for San Diego, isn't it? A bit of pressure putting the ball into the, the lights box, asking the, the questions of the defenders. Charlie Guzman, the 29-year-old from Morelia, Mexico, earned the free kick. 
Now it's Guido talking it over with Mo Shabad. Two of the longest tenured players on the San Diego team. It is Guido, and it's headed away by Bushu. Now a chance for Vegas to break. Rios tried the direct ball. The Simenez Aranzazu did well to keep that in play, but it's okay. Vegas off his line to claim. It's a kind of Spain native. Second straight year as the starter for the San Diego number one. And it's a Las Vegas throwing. Toronto, Oteng. Timothy Zali for Las Vegas Lights. Stoffer. This is excellent. It's Bagley top of the box. He goes for goal and it's saved. Koke Vegas down to his right. Well, Tyler Bagley's starting to get his eye in, isn't he, right now? Real good play from Stauffer. Good ball into Bagley's feet, found his space, and we've seen him this season cut on, on that left-hand side and smash it into the top of the net. And as the season's gone on, he's grown in so much confidence that then now it's the first thing in his mind. Get the ball in the striker area, turn onto that left foot and hit it. And on, on target from Bagley this time, just not enough power to beat the goalkeeper, but good play from the lights. Bagley, four goals, two assists. He's played all but one game this season. Free kick given. Jimenez Aranzazu overcommitted there. And a restart for San Diego. An interesting posture, it feels like, for San Diego. They're not content with 0-0, but it doesn't feel like they're going all out for the three points and the game's first goal. Yeah, you get the feeling throughout the game so far they've been playing within themselves and it's, it's difficult. I've been in this situation when you've got important games coming up, it's difficult to motivate yourself because you're more worried about the playoff playoff games than you are the, the, the last couple of games of the season. So, but then you've got to also be careful because it's a difficult thing to, to lift the tempo when you need to. So they'll still need to, to try and win, win this game to, to go into the playoffs high in confidence. Free kick is given. San Diego want to play quickly. Colin Martin is just, just, just that. Become the loyal. That's good work from Oteng. He's done his work tracking back defensively tonight. Good team defending overall from Las Vegas. Here's Bushu sliding over. Oh, it's on here for San Diego. Good slip ball, and again, and help defending. Yeah, it's been a hard working performance, hasn't it, from uh, the lights? Not many mistakes. Oteng on the left hand side's been up and down all game. Really good, good performances all around defensively. They've, they've kept their shape and. This is what we've discussed numerous times that they've had little errors that have cost them dearly. Tonight, those errors haven't come. There's been a couple of good opportunities for San Diego, but they came from good play, not individual errors. Here's the restart. A flicked on, back towards the goalkeeper, Vegas. Throws it out to Colin Martin. Shaban, Conway, dispossessed, good challenge there from Bushu. Our challenge, play on, says the referee. San Diego breaks with five. That's across the face of goal, spilled out, and the rebound is put home. A big rebound. It falls to Mo Shabane, and San Diego have a goal in Las Vegas. Eight goals on the season for the South African, Tumi Moshaban. Well, there's the transition. It, the, the Loyal got the ball, they, they attacked quickly. It's a bit of a weak ball in the box for Martin. And for me, Zula Laja, that's a weak parry into the path. If you're a goalkeeper there, you have to either get two hands on the ball or the, you have to divert it away from the on, oncoming attackers. Unfortunately, he's parried it into the path of Mo Shabani, and that man just simply will not miss in that situation. 
and the fact that he's unmarked. I mean, we just complimented Vegas and its team defending. That was an unmarked attacker. Seven yards from goal. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think the lights defenders are all doing busting the gut to get back. You, you defend the first ball, don't you? I think as soon as as soon as that gets parried, you, as a defender, you're already running past that to try and stop the first cross. And yeah, it's not ideal parrying it into the, the six yard box in that manner. San Diego have a lead. One nothing to me, Boshabani is eighth on the season. Orange County continues to lead one to nothing at Cardinale Stadium. Milana Lasky's goal in the 39th minute, the difference. Las Vegas corner kick. Rios back, top of the box. Oteng, a screamer just past the post. Well hit by Oteng, about 30 yards from goal. Yeah, he was in loads of space, wasn't he? He took his touch and he's tried to smash it. I think the goalkeeper, Vegas, was very comfortable. A triple change here. Joe Corona, Charlie Adams, and Nick Moon will enter. Here for Nate Miller just a few minutes before the hour mark. Evan Conway will come off. He's replaced by Joe Corona. Oshibani and Colin Martin. So this seems clearly planned by Nate Miller managing minutes and workload before the playoffs. Yeah, and I think uh, the substitutions were slow to take off as well. I think San Diego signed that San Diego is happy with this result and maybe just a, a few substitutions to, to rest the legs they've got. The, in their mind, they will hopefully have a playoff run upcoming and they'll need fresh legs for all that. So, yeah, understandable why at the hour mark you make a triple substitution. And Charlie Adams, veteran from day one for San Diego. He scored San Diego's first ever goal against Las Vegas, March of 2020, canceling out the Junior Burgos opener. And a free kick is given. Good spot here for Las Vegas. Nito frustrated. Great opportunity now for Las Vegas to pull a goal back. Rios fouled by Michael Shilaka. Yeah, Shilaka there just a little, a, a little bit over eager, isn't it? Sometimes the defender, you've got to just hold, hold your, hold your line. You don't want to be oh, trying to attack and attack, attack and attack. Or go over an attacker in those situations. It gives away a free kick in a real dangerous situation, a, a chance for Las Vegas lights. If you're a, a free kick taker, this is probably up there is the right distance. Rios or Mitrano here for Las Vegas, about 30 yards from goal. Rios past the upper corner. Good strike, just off the mark, did not test. Coque Vegas. Hey, I, I don't think that's too far away. A lot of time you go from the goalkeeper's reaction, he didn't dive on that occasion. I don't think he died because I think it was a well hit strike from Rios and if it was on target, you, target, he would have had no chance. Real good effort. A Corona in the match, four goals, two assists for the veteran. And Charlie Adams a goal and six assists in his fourth season with San Diego. Meanwhile, Nick Moon a goal and two assists in about 1,400 minutes. There's Moon with the throw in. From Wisconsin, 27 years of age. 
her second season with San Diego, played for Indy 11 before. A lead for San Diego. And then we continue to monitor Cardinale Stadium. 90 plus four, Orange County continues to lead. A good first touch and a good strike and it's off the teammate Damas. He's very dangerous there in midfield. Adrian Perez, nine goals, two assists on the season. He celebrated a birthday yesterday, turning 28. Of a birthday goal. Nice sliding challenge there from Bushu. He's been busy tonight, that time. And a well timed challenge. It's Camden Riley. That man Camden Riley again though, just he keeps streaking forward, sent but sent a half on the on the team sheet, but he's done some marauding runs numerous times tonight and caused all sorts of problems for the Las Vegas Lights because you don't expect central defenders to be making those runs. I think he was a he can be happy with his performance. Yeah, I agree with you. He plays like a wing back or an outside back. It is another benefit of that 5-3-2 you mentioned it. You have an extra center back there to take license to push forward and know you have the cover behind you. Yeah, exactly. It gives you that extra little bit of freedom, especially if your two other central defenders are good at, at staying. You know, some, some defenders like to, to go forward and leave the team exposed. But as a team, if you have the cover, then it's a good, a good tactic. Zuluaja. Neutrano. Out for a San Diego throw in. Desert Radiology Do Gooders is a team of support teammates across all their facilities who come together regularly to volunteer their time to the many organizations they support. Visit desertrad.com to learn more. turn Guido towards Damas but it's just beyond the Haitian yeah Damas has just felt like that one step off tonight hasn't it the one opportunity he had it just didn't seem like a fully confident finish and that, that occasion there just a, a little chip ball into him just, just wasn't aggressive enough to get there Zuluanja tried to settle it. That was a mistake. It's over the end line for a corner kick. That might be a time just to clear it first time. Yes, it's just maybe it's taken a little bit of a confidence dip. The last, the, the goal that he's given up was there. That's not like him. He's, he's taken a bad touch and he's given away a corner. Giving away corners in situations like that where there was no reason to. It's amazing how many times you get punished. Charlie Adams from the corner. Just off the substitute's bench. Bounces through the six yard box. Hesitation there from Bodily. This cross comes into the back post. It's a good ball. Two San Diego players both going for it, including Ronaldo Damas. And Guzman as well. Uh, teammates. A lot of there, you never want to see that. No, you you want them talking to each other. You see, the Damas coming back, and obviously Guzman attacking it. You need Guzman there as the man attacking the ball to run onto it and be screaming so loud that Damas just, just stops. Especially as a central defender, Guzman needs to be screaming, this is my ball, so everyone in that area knew he was going to win it. Desert Radiology has over 55 years of dedicated history of community support. 
and charitable contributions and are proud to support many local nonprofit organizations. Visit DesertRAD.com to learn more. Usman joined at the midway point of this season. Cadetero. Most of his career in the Mexican First Division. Came up with his hometown club, Anarchus Morelia. Played with multiple clubs, Atletico San Luis, Puebla, Tijuana, and Club León as well. Fields. Free header for Charlie Guzman. A little push there in the back. And Thomas draws the foul against Carroll. As Josh Dolling is preparing to come on. Hopefully, Dolling could bring a little bit more presence for the lights up there now. He's a, obviously a bigger, a bigger target than Bagley is. I think the lights just haven't really been able to find that out ball. Bagley had loads of energy. He's created a couple of chances, but most of that was from winning the ball back and harrowing the defenders and, and pressuring the defenders. I think Dolling now needs to be that number nine striker. The lights need to try and look into maybe not playing the possession game. You can be a little bit more direct and try and get second on the second ball. Darling, no goals, four assists. In 26 games with Las Vegas on loan from New Mexico United. Amazing that was not called against Ali in the corner, right in front of the San Diego supporters. Yeah, for me, it's a free kick every time. They're pushing the back, easy decision, but referee, same play on him. The lights rightfully doing so. Denny Rios. And it falls to Damas. Bishu commits the foul. But Damas just hasn't seen completely on it, has he? He's, every time he's taken a touch, he's kind of invited the tackle. He's not, he's not kept the ball as well, and obviously the poor finish in the end. But I'm sure he'll be happy to save, save his next goal for a playoff, for the playoff push. A nice work here, Michael Shulaka, the first half sub, wide to the left. Good delivery to the back post, nobody there, but that was very inviting for Blake Bodley. Yeah, great ball, I love seeing that behind the defenders, into the six yard box, low and hard across the box. Unfortunately for him, no striker coming on the end of it, but good play in the end there from San Diego, creating a decent opportunity. Dowling's first touch. Could link up play. As Ali keeps coming, he has taken a page out of the San Diego book as he continues to push forward. A bit like Camden Riley there as he just sprinted forward from his center back position. He's, he's, he's been fairly similar. He, he tends to go a little bit wider. That's a good cross from Otang, just too far in front of Dalek. He, he tends to pull a little bit wider on the right-hand side, Sally, just because Stauffer plays so high from right back. So it is a fairly similar position to what Camden Riley plays, even though the Whites are playing a different formation. Alejandro Mitrano. Committed the foul, free kick here. 
71 minutes gone. How can Vegas grow back in this game and find the tying goal? They're just going to keep plugging away. Um, I think San Diego, they've made some changes, so they might be a little bit more disjointed. So the lights, I think the, the best chance the lights have is when they win possession, be direct, get the ball forward as soon as possible. If you play patient, patient football, this San Diego team will just get behind the ball and let you pass in front of them. So the chances are now transition. Yeah, good point there. They had the 0-0 scoreline, different game state, happy with possession, 50-50 in that first half, but it's now time to get towards goal and find that tying goal. Yeah, there's, ways of, there's ways of playing possession football and being more direct and going forward. You, you just need to find the feet of Dolan. You need to find the movement of Bagley. You, you, you don't have to play across your defenders all the time. You have to find that. You have to go forward on these angles. Good first touch, Stoffer. He's found Rios, but Rios didn't watch it to its foot, and it's cleared. I love the directness of Stoffer. Is pick his head up, find a teammate, and go. Ooh, Andres Jimenez Arantazu left that boot up right in front of the referee. On the yellow card. I think that one was a little bit more of a slip from Arantazu, though. I think he's, he's gone in and he's just... <laughs> I think he's maybe gone to ground and then thought to himself, maybe I should, I need to pull out a little bit here. Now Guido took it well. Andres Jimenez Aranzazu is maybe a bit lucky there. It's not it's not the, the greatest challenge when you're already on the yellow card, is it? Whenever you go to ground and you don't win the ball, you're in trouble. Here's Donling peeking over his shoulder at the goalkeeper. He's waiting for support. And back here for Stoffer. Stoffer tries to break through two. A tough sledding there. Stoffer, good ball, right towards the spot under the foot of Eric Oteng. I think, unfortunately, it was just a bit of a bobble off the little the little tut of, of the, the pitch. Obviously, this is a baseball stadium, so the players have struggled a little bit where the, what would you call the, the red part of the baseball pitch? The diamond? The uh, infield dirt? The infield dirt would be. I think uh, you saw there, Stauffer's attack, he, he hit the pitcher's mound a little bit and the ball bobbled up a wee bit, but... The pitch has actually looked, looked good, other than the, the, the infield dirt. Can the I, can looks I, good. Andrew, can I quiz you on the infield fly rule in baseball? Uh, yes, when they, no, I have no idea. <laughs> you know. I've, I've watched baseball a lot and I still have no idea what the rules are. A little layoff here, Rio's back to Darling. Body's flying. Darling waiting for support. He's been lively since entering. And pulled all the way back to Carroll. Here comes Bushu. Nice ball wide for Otang. Otang is sealed off. That's Moon, the substitute. A nice feet there from Corona. He lost possession. Quickly the infield fly rule. Runner on first, runner on second, pop up. No matter what happens, it's an out. It's to prevent the defensive team for letting it bounce and then throwing to a different base for a double play. So it kind of saves them from manipulating it to letting the ball drop to get more than one out. That's the simplest way I can explain the infield fly rule in baseball. I still don't get it. Because if you're the shortstop and it's popped up to you. Also, oh, if, if you're, uh, you'll have to explain that one after. Yes, we're watching this game <laughs> and it's on a knife edge in the 76th minute with Stoffer. Stoffers crossing here and it's headed away. More, more good work, go ahead. This is good work from the lights, isn't it? They're starting to get some more territory on, on San Diego. San Diego going a little bit deeper. We've seen this numerous times when the team's behind or teams ahead, they, they, they retreat and they keep retreat too early. And the, right now the lights are taking advantage of this and they're, they're probing right now. Well, Rios goes for goal, leaning back. No deflection, goal kick coming, 77th minutes. 15 shots to eight in favor of San Diego. 
Yeah, you were right there. He's leaning back the whole time. There's no, if from that distance, you're gonna need to you're gonna need to get your your head over the ball and hit it with power. That one just it was a bit of a team effort. Nowhere nowhere near. But we've seen Danny Rio score in those situations this season, though. So you don't mind him having the, sh the strike. Here's Oteng. He's won it in a good spot. Oteng tried to slip it through. Guzman was there. Really like. Charlie Guzman, 29-year-old Mexican with good experience. He is good in the build phase for San Diego, and now Bagley goes to the corner. Tyler Bagley from the corner, 77 minutes gone from Las Vegas ballpark. Good delivery, back post slightly too high for Timothy Zale. Deep throw and coming for San Diego. A little bit too high for Zali, but I think the defender had a handful of his shirt there. You saw his, his shirt was lifted up. And another day, the referees are now told to look out for those those fouls in the box from the corner. Another day, that could easily be a penalty. First half substitute. Michael Shulaka throws it in. Thomas. Throw in here for San Diego. Clearance, you lock up. Bagley watches it out towards the corner. Bagley from the corner. It's a booming hit. I don't know if you notice, Bagley's taking corners from left and right with his in-swing at each time. It takes a, a special kind of player to be able to do that. I know, I've seen many a professional player not be able to kick it with two feet, never mind take corners with, with either. And well taken as Guido is now down inside his own penalty area. I think this one is a sore one. He's, he's put his head where it hurts and I'm not sure who it was that was attacking the ball, but Christian... Jimenez Aranzazu attacked it and saw one for Vido. Desert Radiology is proud to provide compassionate, quality diagnostic imaging services in Southern Nevada for more than 56 years. As the premier and largest outpatient diagnostic imaging center in Nevada, they partner with several local area hospitals to offer nationally recognized radiology care to their community. game at Orange County against Monterey Bay has gone final. Orange County wins again 1-0. The goal, Milanoloski. The lone blemish, though, is a second yellow red card for Kevin Partita. So he would miss the first round for Orange County. A tough end for Frank Yallop side. Monterey Bay had such a bright start to the season. And sliding to keep it in. That's good work. Back post, and it's skied over the bar. And out of the stadium. Now Blake Bodily shaking his head after that effort. 
Oh, I'm not sure how he's how he's put it so far over. He's got he's taken the perfect touch, second touch right, and now it's it's got a little bit of a it, the ball's bounced a little bit, and he's caught it on the uplift and tried to put power. In those situations you're going to do what we mentioned earlier, get your head over the ball and, and strike it down. Golden opportunity to finish the game off for San Diego. Thrown in, chested in by Mitrano. Sally concedes a throw in. And the locals on tour for San Diego Loyal. Great to see the traveling support from San Diego to Las Vegas. It's added a nice atmosphere to the game, hasn't it? Uh, get a good support. You see them bouncing around in the corner. At, and uh, Zali sealing it off. Somewhat dangerous there with Thomas sprinting in. That's a direct ball. Vegas to seem a little disconnected. Dalling's done his best, but they don't really seem to have much continuity in the build-up phase. No, they just, they've, they've struggled tonight. They really have in, in terms of the, the possession they've kept well, but it's just getting it to the next the next level. They've struggled to get to get out of their own half. I think that's the difference between the two teams. Adamas nodded it down. Free kick coming to Las Vegas. Mitrano is booked. A free kick to San Diego, I should say. Beg your pardon. Mitrano committed the foul. He is booked. Adrian Perez are in the free kick. Birthday yesterday, age 28. Nine goals for the LA native. Last two years with DC United and MLS. A wee birthday present from Mitrano there for him. My birthday present, it's wrapped in black and blue. <laughs> Poor. <laughs> Save the best joke of the season Poor. for the final day. <laughs> my joke was bad, but now you're bruising my ego. Oh. <laughs> Short restart. Build up up this right side for the Loyal. Top of the box, back heel. Dama shot blocked. Left side. Bending to the back post. Carroll heads away, helped out towards midfield. Vegas off his line. Again, that fell to Damas on the edge of the box, and it was a wild swing from him. Just, just seemed a little bit a yard off the pace, hasn't he, at times tonight? A, 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 a confident striker on his toes there would have been first to the ball. Perez does well. He's in, and he has scored. Give him a crack of an opening. He will take advantage. Double-digit goals on the season and a birthday present for Adrian Perez. A birthday yesterday and a goal in Las Vegas today. However, however, better to come back from a kick. He just took a saw one a minute later. He's broke from midfield into the into the box, and that's just an accomplished finish, isn't it? Low and hard into the bottom corner, exactly what you want, and that's a happy man. A happy man and a good way to finish the game, and yeah, no coming back for me for the lights now. Is he going to make it rain with that birthday money in that celebration? He is in Vegas. Maybe maybe they got in last night and he had a winner. <laughs> you don't know. A well-taken goal. He's been one of the most dangerous players all night for San Diego. A yeah. 10 on the season for Adrian Perez. Yeah, he makes good runs from deep, doesn't he? He's in that midfield. The, the midfield for San Diego was fantastic in the first half. And he just makes those, those late runs. And he, he did that on that occasion. Broke the defense and really good finish. The third double-digit goal scorer for San Diego. Thomas with 12, Conway with 10, and now Perez with 10. This was Mo Shaban. He must be nine then, right? Uh, Mo Shaban at seven. Delivery from the right. 
But it is really those four, the dangerous players. You go into the postseason with four guys who can score a goal consistently, you have a chance. It's important, isn't it? We see the, how hard some teams find it to, to, to get goals, to have four goal scorers. It's very important. It's a sign of a, a very, very strong team. And a very good goalkeeper, clear number one for the last two years, veteran leader, and Koke Vegas. Is this, that's what we told to. Damas today, just for me, hasn't looked as sharp as you expect. But his team's come through 2 0, and you've got goal scorers from elsewhere. Sometimes, if teams we've had someone of the quality that Damas is, and he's off it, the team will the team will come out of the game without a, without a result. And that's the, the quality this San Diego team has. And Perez, maybe buoyed by the supporters, continues to play hard. He's fouled there by Zali. Physical showing tonight from Las Vegas. Las Vegas have committed 20 fouls tonight. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they've been chasing the ball for large spells of the game. I know the possession was fairly even in the first half, but there was spells in the game where they, it was like this, where they're chasing shadows and not being able to win the possession back, and you kind of make desperate tackles when you're in those situations. Stoffer spins out of it, similar to his goal last week. In good vision, he's picked out Eric Otang. Four in the attack for Vegas. Otang right to the near post. Vegas has no trouble. He's a big, he's a big frame, isn't he, Vegas? The, all, all day today, he's been in the right place and there. Striking to the near post, but calm as you like from the goalkeeper. Safe behind it and clears the danger. Desert Radiology is here to serve. They strive to understand the needs of their clients, especially their patients and referring physicians that exceed their expectations. Visit Desert RAD to learn more. Stoffer continues to push forward that ball too far ahead of him. And a goal kick to San Diego here in the 89th minute as another change will be made by Nate Miller. He goes to the bench, Morgan Hackworth. A limited time this season. Under 200 minutes for the veteran. And a goal for Perez on his birthday weekend. And a full congratulations from his head coach, Nate Miller. Yeah, good performance for Perez. Rounded off with a goal. And just had worth coming on to, to kill the, the last two minutes of the game. And I think, I think San Diego, without being ecstatic with their performance, will be quietly happy. I think they've gone around it in a professional manner. They haven't stretched themselves, but they're coming away with a, a two-goal victory at this point. And to get a clean sheet before the postseason, they had 4-2. They're winning against Oakland. I think most coaches would rather win 2-0 than win 4-2. Yeah, of course. It, letting in goals, it, it, anything's up to chance, isn't it? I think... They've, they've limited the lights to, to very little tonight. I think a couple of long long distance efforts from Tyler Bagley, and that's that's pretty much all the lights have produced. Dito slows it down. Cameron Riley pushes forward. A minimum of four minutes will be added on at the end of this second half. That's Moon. Riley again bombing forward. And all the way back to Vegas. And Hackworth, by the way, in his fourth season with San Diego, part of that veteran core that has been with the club for the debut season. Jimmy Moshabani with eight on the season, including his eighth tonight. A bad spot for it to fall for San Diego. Hackworth joining. 
bodily into the mix, headed straight in the air, and it's <laughs> Indecisive to say the least, wasn't it? It's just a, the, for me, Salusha has to come and claim that as the goalkeeper. Zuluaja, and bailed out by his defenders there, who was in the mix, and then he made a pretty good save just standing tall and before it was 3 0 for San Diego. Now the opening goal, Tumi Moshabani, 56th minute, and Adrian Perez, 85th minutes. And here's where that possession for Vegas, it just seems you're down two goals, you're playing across the back of goal, it's just all around the edges, but never incisive. This, this man is as is, is likely to be incisive as, well, the, the two of them, Bagley, who we passed it to, are the two for the lights that are most likely. But tonight, it's just been, it's just, it's just not been any urgency as they're about their performance. Now Rios, now it's a good strike and a full stretch from Vegas. He may have had it covered as it whistles by the far post. That was Mitrano, the left back, with a good hit. Yeah, I don't mind it. He's, he's had a good strike. Vega, I think, a bit of a camera dive to try and. <laughs> I think he was comfortable with the strike. I think he would have saved it, but yeah, at least a little bit of urgency from the light. Someone taking the initiative and having a strike. Mm -hmm. Restart from Vegas. Kept in play by Moon. And this Jimenez Aranzazu is fouled by Moon. Restart coming for Carroll. Rios, good pressure. He wins it back. And then he lost it. Good back tackling Charlie Adams. Guido can see it out for San Diego. Frustration foul there from Andres Jimenez Aranzazu. Mesky has not put a foot wrong all day, has he? Even this occasion, under a little bit of pressure, last minute, just put your body between you and the defender, win yourself a free kick, game over. A yellow card after the fact for descent for Timothy Zali. Guido so good using the aggression of the opponent against them. Another four-year player came over from LAFC. A Chula Vista native, Alejandro Guido. Adams. Full time from Las Vegas ballpark. A full three points for San Diego. And will finish third in the Western Conference on a tiebreaker behind Orange County, but they will head into the playoffs as one of the most informed teams, unbeaten in six to close out the season in a comprehensive 2 0 win tonight over Las Vegas Lions. Our save of the game. And it's this double save here from Andre Zuluaja. Yes, Zuluaja is a good save on the initial one. It's the parry into the into the, the danger area, but he this, on this occasion he got up and his reflexes got him the second save, and you see there he calmed down the situation. A nice double save. Presented by Nevada Donor Network. Remember, you can save a life. Yeah, register me.org. San Diego unbeaten in six. They get two goals in the second half. Tumi Moshabane, the opener, and then Adrian Perez, the second. Unbeaten in six, heading to the postseason for San Diego Loyal.
Dear Eric, I want to thank you for your honesty and dedication while selling me my new car last month at Finley Subaru of Las Vegas. I've always been wary of car salesmen, often with good reason, but you've helped me redefine the stereotypes. You have welcomed me into the Subaru family, and I appreciate you treating me like family rather than a customer. I absolutely love my Subaru. Love, Kylie Carroll. Maintain the love with complimentary maintenance when you purchase or lease a new Subaru. SubaruofLasVegas.com did you know that cigarette smoking is the leading cause of preventable death in the United States? Are you ready to kick tobacco out of your life? The Nevada Tobacco Quick Line can help. For free help to quit smoking or vaping, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW or send the text QUIT-NOW to 333-888. Make living a smoke-free and vape-free life your goal. For me, for you, for everyone, live healthy. At Silver State Schools Credit Union, we'll be by your side through every moment of life's journey, from big life changes to small celebrations and everything in between. Because we prioritize people over profit. Become a member today and have a financial partner for life. As a proud sponsor of the Las Vegas Lights, Security National Mortgage Company is looking to help you score your next big goal, buying a house. Our process is simple with in-house underwriting, processing, and closing, keeping you informed from start to finish. With our Snap Home mobile app, you can look for a home, get financing, and more right from your phone. Together, we can outmatch the competition. Contact us today and let Security National be a part of your home team. <sighs> Are you okay to drive? Perfect record, no one crash. Yet. Dude, I've never hit anything. Yet. Please, nothing's ever happened to me. Yet. <laughs> no one's ever had a problem with me before. Yet. What? Las Vegas Light Soccer has been presented by Terribles. By Hot 97.5 FM, today's hottest music. And by Cox Your View, catch replays of the lights every Saturday at 10 a.m. Full time from Las Vegas Ballpark, last day of the regular season for Las Vegas Lights. San Diego Loyal, a very informed team, unbeaten in six going into the postseason. Matt Peterson with Andrew Driver. Second meeting the season, the first ended 1-1. Corner kick, headed out to Colin Martin. Yeah, there's long spells of this game where there wasn't too many opportunities. I think this first highlight coming in the second half says it says a lot about the game. The, the light's not, not creating too much. These two are the most likely. Stauffer into Bagley. This is a confident Bagley. This time on his left foot, good strike, but easy save for the goalkeeper. Okay, Vegas with the save there, out to Colin Martin. Uh, Martin smashed it across the face of goal. Easy rebound. Jumi Moshevani is eighth of the campaign. And then a corner kick for Las Vegas. Led to this hit from Eric Otang. Yeah, they had a couple of long distance ones, especially towards the end of the game, but nothing really coming for the lights. But then the game was over when this man Perez broke from midfield and what a finish that was and no coming back from that for the lights. A birthday last night, making it rain the day after. And 10 on the season from Adrian Perez and we see the full-time stats. Yeah, I think the stats say it all. The uh, possession was fairly equal, but the, the Loyal did much more with that possession. Loads more shots, shots on target. The lights struggled to be creative tonight, actually. And then you see the yellow cards, 3-1 in favor of the lights. And I think that's because there was frustrations on how difficult they did find it. They didn't create much and San Diego were comfortable in the end. Rolling out. Well, that will do it from Las Vegas Ballpark. We thank you for all your support this season. It's been a fun year for Las Vegas Lights and Cash, the soccer rocker. Uh, San Diego heads to the postseason with momentum goals from Tumi Moshabane and Adrian Perez. Uh, 
lead them into the postseason with a six-match unbeaten run. Brand your driver and our entire crew, Matt Peterson, saying good night. Full-time, San Diego 2, Las Vegas nothing. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship. Left side involving Charlie Guzman. And it's right there in the middle of the field. This left side involving Charlie Guzman. And it's right there in the middle of the field. see Vegas in Vegas. That's their starting goalkeeper. That's a good strike. Well, save, rebound, second save. Zulawaja passes the test. It was Ronaldo Damas lurking just.
He's a, he's a threat around the area, and he, he knows how to finish the ball. And Ronaldo S celebration as well. He led Orange County to the championship two years ago. He'll try and do the same on loan this year with San Diego. It's Las Vegas and San Diego lineups and kickoff after the break.